Tereré. Welcome to Asuncion, Paraguay. Crossing the border, see if we can get checked out with the stamp and then head into Paraguay. Try to get to Asuncion, catch a bus here today. So at the terminal in, in Paraguay, at the Ciudad del Este, and then we literally got here, found, talked to three different people, we found a bus, five hours, about 16 US. It's gonna be perfect to get by. So we literally crossed the border, both exited Brazil, entered Paraguay, got an Uber to the bus station, probably within 40 minutes it took to do all of that, maybe an hour. Smooth, 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 I love it. Welcome to Asuncion, Paraguay. So this is hilarious. This is the exact same music box I had when I was 16. Walking down Plaza in Central of Asuncion, Paraguay. And so far it's been pretty. It's a pretty little town. Not as cheap as I thought it would be, but it's been nice. Uh, I've only been here today really. Didn't experience much last night, but I'm traveling with a guy from Canada, Lambert. He's an amazing dude. And we're having some fun. So tonight we're gonna go to the main town with the bars and the nightlife. Maybe get some food or something. We'll check it out. In Asuncion, there's a couple of things you can go see. One of them is the, the palace the, of uh, Congress, which is right next to my hostel, and it's nice. Got a little park right next to it as well. So, spent a few days here, just uh, three nights, and now I'm going to head off to a new town, try to go to Bolivia. So behind me is the Palacio, which is where the president, presidential seat and the Congress are. Hasn't been changed much since the 50s, so it's a really pretty building. It's really nice.
That building right there is the National Parliament building. So it's another important building here in Paraguay. In Paraguay, Asuncion is the largest city and the country's capital. See the other half of the parliament behind me, there's just so much police presence and military that actually walking around in this cathedral area of Asuncion feels very safe just knowing that there's so many military and police people around this area. Now you get a little further away and it could be a little more dangerous, but not, not from what I felt so far. We've been walking around for three days. There are There is an area that's more safe, a little more, um, a little more expensive that most people come and stay at called Via Mora. And that neighborhood's where you have a lot of your shopping and your dining. Uh, went there one night and had a few drinks, but all in all, if you want to see the city, the historical side, you're probably going to want to come down here to Cathedral and be, be down here by the parliament. Asuncion is filled with several parks in the cathedral area. Um, one of the bigger ones here that I've seen is called Plaza Uruguay, and that's the one we're gonna walk through now. So I just realized this morning that I left my soap bag at the hostel from yesterday. So what I'm gonna try to do is hope I get lucky and walk over there real quick, see if they still have the bag. Being that I just left there yesterday and it's not even been 24 hours, I'm hoping they don't know whose it is and they still have it. So fingers crossed, I don't lose another thing on this trip. This one's kind of nice because it keeps everything dry inside my, my toiletry bag. <laughs> my soap doesn't get everywhere, so let's hope. The old Asuncion Railway Station. They have it up here now where you can come check it out. A little history of what it used to be. No longer running, but now it's more of just a museum here in town. Success, yes. With only three days in a city like Asuncion, which is so big, I think it roughly has around two million people, um, you can't really see everything. So the only neighborhoods I really spent time in were Cathedral and a little bit in Via Mora. So outside of that, I really haven't seen much else of the city, but it is a good place to stop by if you wanna make your way to Bolivia from Argentina or vice versa or over to Brazil. Um, I wish I had more time because there's some beautiful parks here that you can go to. I would say if you have the time, make a stop here. I really like Asuncion. I would like to, the people have been really friendly. They speak two languages. They speak Spanish and the native language Guarani, Guarani. So if you get a chance and you have a little time here, I wish I had more. I would have gone out to the east side of Paraguay where they have a bunch of national parks and it's supposed to be pretty beautiful. Tere, gonna try some tere, the local 
beverage like coffee. It's like like a mate, but you drink it cold. Let's see. First head of day. So. Mm. Tastes like mate, but better. Ciao, Sun Tzu Ciao, Lambert. <laughs>